BuzzFeed News Tech reporter Katie Natopoulos hosting that space. She joins us live right now. Katie, what was that like? Um, you know, it was uh, it. It started where one of the journalists who had had their account suspended uh, is Ryan Mack from the New York Times. He used to work with me uh, at BuzzFeed News. So a, a bunch of his old colleagues sort of got together to start this space. Um, and we thought it'd be sort of a fun thing to sort of talk, you know, a little bit roast him while he, you know, was suspended. Um, but then it sort of became more of a serious discussion about what was actually going on on Twitter because uh, banning several journalists for reporting on the existence of an account that has been sharing his flight location is quite alarming. Um, and it's different than sharing the exact location themselves. And, and Katie, when it got kind of heated, he kind of disappeared. Yeah, so he did. Uh, Elon showed up uh, to the Twitter space. Uh, one of the people that he works with had joined it and was sort of arguing a little bit um, in, in for a, a while. Elon finally showed up. Um, you know, we got to ask him a few questions, and he basically sort of reiterated that, you know, this is doxing. Doxing is not permitted. Anyone who does doxing, uh, you know, will get suspended. And doxing, um, of course, is giving out information, you know, private information about someone. Right. And and what the journalists who were suspended were doing is not necessarily what would usually fall under the traditional uh, definition of doxing, which would be like re releasing someone's uh, personal information, like their home address mm -hmm. or something like this. This was they were reporting on the existence of this flight tracker. And you guys were talking about Twitter in the first place. What's going on on Twitter right now, Katie, is a hot mess. It's a little bit of a <laughs> hot mess. So, um, uh, right now, interesting, so the Twitter space that we were in, eventually it cut off um, mm. sort of before it was finished, and then uh, Twitter uh, sort of got rid of all space functionality. So the feature was killed off for most of the day. Um, they finally reinstated it, um, and most people can go back, but my account is suspended from, I, I can tweet, I just can't host a Twitter space oh. again. So are you done um, for but, good? I mean, can you get it back? We'll see. Uh, my, Do you I want mean, it I back? Still tweet. It's just, I can't host a space anymore. So I think that Mr. Moss didn't like the space so much. Um, but there's a lot of uh, sort of big issues going on with, with what's the fate of content moderation. And Elon Musk has made it very clear that he believes in less moderation and that there should be more speech on the site. And he got rid of most of the content moderation teams. And he's been very critical of a lot of the decisions around moderation that happened in the past. Um, and yet he's sort of clearly making up the moderation rules on the fly as he see fit, sees fit. What if everybody just boycotted Twitter? I mean, what do you think he'd do then? You know, <laughs> it's a good question. I think that he's probably also a little bit feeling uh, the heat of the fact that this is a bad investment for him. He is definitely losing money on this purchase of Twitter. He bought it for a price that's way too high. Um, he's made it very difficult to monetize. He's chased away the advertisers. And, you know, this is <laughs> this has become a, a big pit for him. And I'm not sure he really has a sense of how to get out of this. All right, Katie Natopoulos from BuzzFeed News and the beat goes on. Thanks so much. Happy holidays to you. You too. Thanks. Well, moving planes.